That's why Skills for Change uh, has been here for 25 years. And as the Minister uh, of Citizenship and Immigration Ontario, and also on behalf of the Premier, uh, just to restate again how uh, much we value uh, Skills for Change and our other uh, community service agencies, we could not, as a province, uh, function uh, and uh, help newcomers uh, without that uh, expertise, the uh, incredible work that has been done uh, for so many years by Skills for Change. And it's a partnership that is critical for success, uh, not only for my ministry, but it's a partnership that's successful for our communities to succeed. And we sometimes take that for granted. It doesn't happen uh, without effort, without uh, sacrifice, without commitment. And our community-based agencies like Skills for Change have been demonstrating that uh, tirelessly for, for a number of years, I said 25 years. And uh, you know, I had a close friend of mine who worked here. That's how I was first introduced to it, Marie Margus, who then went to Culture Link. And so she was here. And I remember coming to a lot of functions here, uh, yeah, always trying to fundraise. And, <laughs> but it was, it was always exhilarating. And especially, I just lived up the street, too, on uh, Rushton here. Uh, again, we're here today as an extension of that recognition of the incredible work that is done uh, and the incredible people uh, like Kim uh, that are uh, going through the doors of Skills for Change, looking for support, looking for comfort, looking for direction, looking for uh, help in their uh, achievement of their career goals. Because you can see, like Kim, there are many talented people with incredible uh, training uh, in another country, with incredible motivation, and with incredible uh, sense of um, commitment to this country and to their community. And so they want to do well. Uh, they have great work ethic. And by having uh, Skills for Change and other organizations like Skills for Change, you know, Costi was mentioned where Kim works now, these organizations uh, are vital. And it's so great to see Skills for Change for the 15th year now having their new Pioneer Award. This is uh, something that we don't do enough of. As um, you know, we've heard uh, so many times is the challenges, the obstacles for immigration, uh, the frustration, and that exists. But we must also stop and recognize and honor and celebrate the incredible contributions that newcomers uh, continually make uh, in this uh, country, in this province, in this city. There are thousands of them that have started businesses that are um, innovative, creative, uh, that are uh, adding so much to a workplace. And this is done in a nameless way. You know, there are thousands of Kims all over this province, all over the city, and nobody ever stops to talk about them. We always tend to forget the successes that we've achieved. And Kim and so many others are successes. And in order to encourage people, in order to show that immigration is a wonderful uh, leverage we have here in Canada. It's a wonderful gift that we get that keeps on giving uh, because we get incredible people coming from you know, hundreds of different countries coming to uh, Ontario, to Canada. So the new Pioneers Award is a very concrete way of saying immigration is good, the immigrants are good, the immigrants are succeeding, the immigrants have a lot to offer, and we must remind everybody, too, that it's all of our roles, whether government or employers or institutions, to ensure that we invest in this success. It doesn't happen, as Kim said, without people taking her and making her feel wanted, making her feel important, making her feel good about her chances in Ontario and Canada. So that's what the new Pioneers Award does in a very manifest way. And I'm so uh, supportive of this, and I was at the function last year, and it was like a great celebration, a great wedding 
where many people were getting married, and and you can see, you can just sense the pride in the families, uh, the other people that were there. They were so proud to see uh, that uh, these wonderful people were being recognized, and that's why I, I was really taken by the uh, the positive positive atmosphere that was there. A very magical atmosphere, really. It's, it's quite unique. And, uh, and as the minister, I've also, uh, you know, we partnered uh, to support the New Pioneers program last year, and we're also going to uh, put our money where our mouth is. We're going to give another $10,000 to ensure uh, the... Uh, <laughs> and, uh, no, because I know how hard you work you know, with the bake sales and the little, it is not easy. It is not easy. So, and the, therefore, we're very glad to really leverage your uh, effort and energy and uh, passion and dedication you have to your work. So that will help make the New Pioneers Award even a greater success. And I really want to thank all the sponsors, too, that have stepped up in doing this uh, because this is a type of event that celebrates what is best about Ontario and Canada. It, as, you know, as, uh, as, as diversity at work. Uh, and diversity, but you have to work at diversity too. It just doesn't happen. And Skills for Change is working at diversity. And uh, the New Pioneers uh, Awards is an incredible testament to how uh, fortunate we are to have such multi-talented, uh, diverse people that are in all of our neighborhoods and all of our uh, communities. And uh, so I look forward to attending uh, the New Pioneers Awards March 22nd, yes, at the Convention Center. And uh, again, I want to congratulate all of you uh, who've uh, participated in organizing uh, this event. And, and it is something that uh, uh, we as a government want to see happen because we need to s say loud and clear that we've got some incredibly talented people uh, that uh, the world should know about. And uh, let's bring them up and give them awards and uh, say thanks and say, here's uh, our role models like Kim is, and uh, they are really our unsung heroes. And, uh, and uh, Skills for Change is, you might say, the uh, sort of a, like a bake, not a bakery, but it's almost an incubator <laughs> of unsung <laughs> heroes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much, and uh, uh, great success on the 22nd of March. Thank you. Thank you.